What's the one word that strikes fear in the heart of people? And if not fear, perhaps disillusionment, disillusionment or disappointment. Hello everyone, I'm Craig Ross, CEO of Veris Global. It's a fact, 70 to 90% of workplace transformations fail. And what's at the heart of those transformations? The reorg. When people hear the word reorg, nowadays my observations is that people actually begin to tune out. They move into a protectionist mode. Who will I be teamed with this time? I was sitting at a, a table of leaders within one of our client partners and the CEO spoke up and said, let's be really, really clear. Trying to hide talent or move people around that are dysfunctional in this team and hoping that they'll be functional over in this team through a reorg isn't going to work. It doesn't happen that way. And so what do you do if you find yourself in the midst of that? What do you do if you find yourself on that brand new team that's gone through a reorg yet again? There are some that, of course, will wait. Because if you wait, you know what will happen. There'll be another reorg. But if that's not good enough for you, and I don't believe it is, then we must seize the opportunity to be the leaders we know we can be and we are. There's a step, there's a process related to a tool that we feature in our book. It's called the Energy Map. The energy map has three parts to it. It has a backward focus, it has a neutral focus where we just look at data and facts, and then there's a forward focus in terms of how we move forward. It's, it's fundamental. Human beings can't focus forward until they've actually processed or let go of something in the past. In other words, if I'm emotionally charged, uncomfortable, fearful about this reorg, I'm not gonna get much work done. I won't be a very good teammate with you. And so we encourage you and your team to do what is always productive. And that is call a timeout in one of those early meetings and actually spend some time with a backward focus with questions such as, what are we disappointed with? What will we miss about the way the structure used to be? What did we once have that we won't have anymore that's gonna make things difficult for us? The truth of the matter is, is if we're not giving the team a chance to discuss those things, people are going to take the time to discuss those things at other points when we actually need them to be productive. After we've had that discussion, that's only the beginning. So now we move to that middle of the energy map, that neutral part. Emotions begin to get left behind when we discuss things such as, what do we understand currently about the structure? What information must we have at this point before we begin moving forward? Here's another key question. Is there anything else we need to discuss before we get busy? After we've had that discussion, we move to the front side of the energy map. Here are those questions that we know are so critical to leveraging the wisdom, the emotional intelligence that every teammate has. Number one, what have we done with past reorgs to ensure that we succeed quickly. What can we leverage? Number two, why is it important to each one of us at a personal level that the team we're on now is successful? Number three, what are we looking forward to? What opportunities does this reorg create that we can seize, that we can take advantage of? Undoubtedly, as you use this three-step process, you will be able to ensure that the reorg you're experiencing is one that will enable you to do bigger things.